Hey, I'm Matt from Online Business Tech, and in this video, I wanna show you how you can automate anything on your computer. So from a custom auto replace where you can replace WTF with what the French toast, or maybe you have some customers that constantly email you the same questions over and over, and you just wanna create a canned response that you can quickly interject into your emails using a quick hotkey. Or maybe you wanna create some custom keyboard shortcuts to open up some programs or go to different websites. Or maybe you wanna automate an entire workflow in order to free up more time and more mental bandwidth so you can focus on other things. So all of these things are possible using a free open source scripting language called Auto Hotkey. Now, if you're not a programmer, don't freak out. It's actually pretty easy to use. The documentation is really solid and you can pretty much figure out how to do anything uh, pretty quickly using the documentation and some of the resources that I'll mention later on in this video. So I just finished writing a script that automates my entire process for setting up a software tutorial. So when I create a software tutorial, I like to record the window at a certain size instead of full screen. And that just gives the overall scale of the icons of the software a little bit, uh, you know, just makes things a little bit bigger for when you're watching it on mobile. Now with Camtasia, it's actually pretty easy to, to do this sort of thing because it has really good window snapping and window sizing tools built right into Camtasia. But recently I started experimenting more with OBS, which is a free open source screen capture software. And the problem with OBS is it doesn't have the same ability as Camtasia as far as snapping window sizes. So it's just really hard to get a window to the exact size you need um, when you're recording with OBS. So now I have a custom auto hotkey script set up that will do all of this for me automatically with a ton of bonuses as well. So now all I do is double click this icon on my desktop and it will prompt me and ask which program I wanna create the tutorial for. Now this was completely custom. I designed this window uh, to prompt me with these two options. Cause I typically on my other YouTube channel, I create tutorials in one of two programs, SketchUp or Layout. So I can open, I can select SketchUp or Layout or both and the script will know what to do uh, depending on what I check off. Once I do that, then it's gonna ask me where I want to create the new project folder. And then after that, I can define a project name that will be used in the various files that are going to be created. So once I click OK, the programs that I selected will open up and they'll resize and reposition automatically. Then OBS will open up, it will dock in the right hand side of my second monitor. And as a bonus, it'll actually go into the settings and uh, redefine the output folder to the new project folder that I uh, created earlier on. And on top of that, the script will also copy my video template file and my YouTube thumbnail Photoshop file and it'll paste it in the new project folder that was created earlier. So all of this happens within seconds. So this saves a ton of time every single time I sit down to create a tutorial. And I really love things like this where you can invest a little bit of time or money up front into something and having that thing repay you over and over and over again without any additional effort from you. Whenever you have the opportunity to do something like that, it's, it's almost always worth exploring. All right, so how do you use Auto Hotkey? So it's a little weird after you download and install Auto Hotkey, it doesn't really have like a user interface like a typical program does. Um, after all, it's a scripting language. So by downloading and installing it, you're basically giving your computer the ability to read and understand and run the Auto Hotkey language. So how do you create an auto hotkey script? So it's as simple as just opening any text editor like Notepad, or you can use a custom text editing software like this one here, uh, which just kind of recognizes some of the auto hotkey commands and gives you quick access to some of the help files. But anyways, you just write some commands and then you save the file with a .ahk file extension. So that's it. So in order to run this script, all you have to do is double click on it and it's running in the background right now. 
So now I can go to any website or program, and when I press Control D, it's gonna insert this text. So since the script doesn't have any code in it to close it, I can keep using the hotkey over and over again indefinitely. Okay, so let's break this down. So this entire script simply defines a hotkey. Now hotkeys are uh, just one of the many ways to trigger actions using auto hotkeys. So just keep that in mind. This is kind of like just scratching the surface of what you can do with auto hotkey. So a hotkey is defined by two colons and whatever's to the left of those colons are, they represent the keys that you have to press on your keyboard in order to trigger it. And then anything to the right of the colons is the code that will actually be run when that hotkey is pressed. Now, when you write hotkeys, you use certain symbols to represent the different modifier keys on your keyboards, like Control, Shift, Alt, things like that. So in this case, this symbol here, which apparently is called a- Circumflex. Circumflex. Uh, represents the control key. And then we have the letter D. So when you press Control D, this will be run. So this send command actually sends these words as if they were typed on the keyboard. So how do I know that? Well, if we go to the auto hotkey website and go to documentation, and then we search for the send command, it tells you what the command does. So the send command sends simulated keystrokes and mouse clicks to the active window. So whatever window you currently have active, that command will send those keystrokes to that window. And then the yellow box here shows you how to write the command and all of the different parameters that you can pass to that command. So in this case, it's very simple. You type the command send and then you put uh, the parameter keys after it. So how do we know what the parameter is? We just go down to parameters and we see keys is the sequence of keys to send. Now there are a ton of commands that are available to you when you're using auto hotkey. So for instance, in the custom script I made to automate my software tutorial workflow, I used a command called file select folder. And what this does, you can see right here, you type the command, put a comma, and then you can define an output variable. And then whenever you see um, parameters that are within brackets like this, that means that those parameters are optional. So you don't have to include them when you're, when you're writing it. But what this does is it prompts the user to select a folder on the system um, and you have some options. So if we go down here and look at options, you can provide uh, the ability to create new folders. And that's what I did in, in my script. So when that script is run, it shows uh, a, a default location, which is this parameter right here. So you, you can optionally define the starting folder, which is what I did, because I know I want all my tutorials to exist in the same uh, relative location every time. And then I enabled the option to create a new folder. So I can create, you know, when I'm doing a new tutorial, I can think of the name that I want the new folder to be, and I can create that right there in that moment. And so once the user selects the folder, that folder location will get saved in this output variable. And then you can use that variable later on in your code to, um, to do different things. And then to get a project name, I used the input box command. And so what this does is it allows you to have a little input box pop up on the screen where the user can type in some text and it will save. You have all these optional uh, parameters that you can define and it'll save whatever that person types in as a variable that you can use later on in your script. So there are a ton of different commands that you can use. I recommend starting out, if you're new, go to Quick Reference and click on the Tutorial for Beginners and just walk through the basics here to learn how to use this. Now, if you're trying to figure out how to do something with Auto Hotkey, try combining Google with the Auto Hotkey documentation. For instance, I was trying to figure out how to insert the current year um, using my script. So what I did is I just searched auto hotkey current year 
And I found a forum post here and just scrolling down, you know, someone mentioned these variables here. So then, you know, if I just copy that and go back to the documentation and search that, I see it pops up. And when I go here, I see, hmm, okay. So these are some built-in variables that are built into the language and you can call upon these variables at any time. So uh, A underscore Y, 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 Y is the current four year, four digit year. Um, and then there's all these other um, variables that you can use as well. And so for example, I could create a custom hotkey that will output the current date or the current year um, using these built-in variables. All right, now if you find auto hotkey to be a little bit overwhelming, I wanna share some alternatives that are a lot easier to use. And I personally have used both of these as well and still do. So the first one is Phrase Express. It's kind of like your own personal autocorrect engine. It's really easy to use. It has a nice interface to work with. You don't have to do any programming. But for instance, some of the things that I use um, Phrase Express for are today's date. So I do hashtag DA and when I hit spacebar, that's gonna replace for today's date. Uh, the second thing I use all the time is uh, when I'm working on my brand, if I'm doing images or um, video, just all the different software that I'm working with, uh, I'm constantly using a specific color uh, that's that occurs in my brand, in my logo, on my website all the time. So I set up a three character short code, MSO, and then when I hit spacebar, that will be replaced with the RGB or the hex color code for that color. So I can use this no matter which program or website I'm on. Anytime I need to grab that color, I just type MSO space and boom, the color is in there. Now I've also used Phrase Express for a custom signature in my email. Uh, sometimes I, I send emails that are maybe a little more personal and I wanna include my contact info, my phone number, address, that sort of thing. Um, so instead of replacing my default signature and having to manually do that, I have a quick keyboard. It's literally ZXC, which is just because the letters are next to each other on the keyboard. And when I hit spacebar, that gets replaced with the custom signature that I set up. Now, the other one I wanna tell you about is Macro Recorder. So this is made by the same company that makes Phrase Express, and I believe it has a free trial, but for the pro version, uh, it costs about $50. And what this does is it records your keyboard and mouse uh, clicks and movements. And so if there's something you're doing repetitively over and over and over and over again, you can uh, record that as a macro, manually tweak it, and then run that uh, macro um, as many times as you need to, and it just goes so fast. It's really awesome. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video.